In a recent video, I played Minecraft Java Edition in virtual reality. Since then, I have found out how to do Minecraft VR on Bedrock Edition. So today, I'm going to show you how to get Minecraft in virtual reality on Bedrock Edition and Java Edition. If today's video helps you out at all, please consider subscribing to the channel. I upload every Monday, Wednesday, and stream on a Saturday. But for now, let's get into the tutorial, and why don't we start with Bedrock Edition, because that's the easiest of the two, and is the official way to play Minecraft in VR. So to get yourself started, go to the first link in the video description, scroll down until you see setting up a custom shortcut. Now, this is because at the moment, you cannot get Minecraft Bedrock Edition on VR through the Oculus Store. So as it says here, we're going to have to make sure you have Minecraft Bedrock Edition for Windows 10 in installed and have started the game normally at least once. If you haven't done this yet, go to the Windows Store, buy Minecraft and run it at least once, then close the game and come back. Step two is going to be to set up a custom shortcut on your desktop. So what we're going to need to do is go to our desktop and we're going to need to do the following. You're going to want to right click on your desktop, press new and go to shortcut. From there, this window is going to open and it's going to say what item would you like to create a shortcut for? You want to type the following Minecraft semicolon forward slash forward slash mode forward slash question mark open xr equals true now to make things easier you can just hover over that copy it go back to the window and paste it in and then just press next and then you can give it a name i will call it mcbrve hang on mcbrvr minecraft bedrock virtual reality press finish and then you should see a brand new shortcut on your desktop called mcbrvr now the next thing you're going to need to do if you haven't got it already this is a tutorial for the oculus quest 2 install the oculus software i will link that down below from there you're going to want to make sure the oculus software is open your vr headset is plugged in and inside the vr headset you're going to need to click on the allow data transfer option that's the first pop-up that's going to come up and then the next pop-up that comes up will say enable oculus link once you've enabled oculus link and you're through to to the next screen then you want to go back to your computer and double click the mcbr vr file very simple the headset will load minecraft bedrock edition in vr it might take a while to load but eventually you'll be in the game and you can play as normal using your oculus touch controllers and that is pretty much it for bedrock edition so now Let's move on to Java Edition. So for Minecraft Java Edition, things are a little bit more involved as there's no official way to play virtual reality on Java Edition. So we're going to be utilizing Minecraft mods. The mod we're going to be using is Vivecraft. So step number one, you're going to want to load up Minecraft Java Edition in the version that you want to play virtual reality in. So for this one, I'm going to use 1.17.1, which obviously I have loaded before. So I'm going to skip this step and move on. But if you haven't played Minecraft 1.17.1 before or the version that you want to play, make sure you load it normally, just like you would do when you're playing Minecraft. Next, you're going to need to go to your browser and get Steam VR from the Steam store page. This will allow the headset to connect with Java Edition and the Vivecraft mod. Next, if you don't have it already, get the Oculus Link software. I'll link that down below. And then you want to go to the next link in the description, which is Vivecraft. From Vivecraft's website, you want to go to the top right, click downloads, and then you're going to scroll down, find the Minecraft version you're using. I'm using 1.17.x like so. So I'm going to click this link here, and that's going to take me to this GitHub page. From here, I'm going to scroll down and I'm going to click the Vivecraft 1.17.1 VR. Make sure the version you collect is VR, otherwise if you choose the non-VR version, you're not going to be playing in VR. Click this link here and then the file should download. If it tells you it's a dangerous file, it's not a dangerous file. Windows just detects Java files as dangerous files because there are some people that have the mind to do that, but this file completely safe, otherwise I won't recommend it. Press keep and then click on the download link just there and then it will open up and it will say Vivecraft. Then you just need to select where Minecraft is installed. Select if you want to create a Vivecraft launcher profile, I would recommend this. You can choose to give it a custom profile name if you want, but then you can change this later in the launcher. And then you don't need to worry about anything else here. However, if you do have mods that you want to use, just click this button and then choose your mod pack directory. This is going to be your mods file inside your main Minecraft directory. After that, press install and then once it's installed you're good to load up minecraft and when you reopen the minecraft launcher you'll see vivecraft 1.17 now before you load this make sure you have steam vr turned on make sure you have the headset plugged in oculus link enabled as i showed you in the bedrock section of this video and then you can go ahead and press play and you'll be able to use minecraft vr just like i did in java edition and ladies and gentlemen that's it if you found this video helpful as i say please do consider subscribing it really helps out the channel a lot and your support means a lot other than that, thanks for watching, my name's been Happy, and I'll see you later. Goodbye.